Nam Joo Hyuk rose to fame with dramas like weightlifting fairy Kim Bok Joo, Startup and 2521. He even was featured in Forbes 30 Under 30. However, he was accused of school bullying and due to that his career was set back. Now once he's slowly coming back to the entertainment business, the accuser doesn't give up. On June 20, 2022, an anonymous tipper accused Nam Joo Hyuk of school bullying for six years through both middle and high school. The tipper showed a picture of a yearbook as proof and claimed the actor was a part of a clique that bullied other classmates, beating them up, cussing them out, taking their money, and more. The tipper continued to claim that the actor bullied him, throwing mechanical pencil refills at him and pulling out his chair. He added that the other victims, who were much more severely bullied than him, are currently seeing psychiatrists and avoiding TV due to the actor's recent popularity. Nam Joo Hyuk's agency denied the accusations. We are sorry for the media outlet's unilateral reporting that did not even go through a single fact check with the agency or the actor before the story was published, they will be held responsible for seriously damaging his reputation with false reports, and we will also apply for the correction of information with the press arbitration committee against the media outlet involved. We will file criminal charges against reporters and anonymous informants. The agency actually kept their word and sued everyone involved. We filed a criminal complaint against the media reporter, the CEO of the media outlet, and the anonymous informant who made false reports against Nam Joo Hyuk, accusing him of being a school bully. We have filed a complaint against these individuals for violating the Act on Promotion of Information and Communications Network Utilization and Information Protection defamation. However, the initial accusers refused to take down the article, despite Joo Hyuk's agency filing a legal complaint against them. After being sued by Nam Joo Hyuk's agency, the anonymous tipper corrected that he only witnessed Nam Joo Hyuk's bullying, not that he was Nam Joo Hyuk's victim. The media outlet that first exclusively wrote the expose also corrected that the actor's bullying happened over two years and corrected that the victim was the tipper's friend. So already here started to seem dodgy, and as well, the media that were tipped by accusers didn't want to take down the article. We have no intention to take down the article. Nam Joo Hyuk's agency offered to dismiss the lawsuit if we released a corrected article, but the informant's tip was coherent and detailed. We didn't get the feeling that it was certainly unfounded. There were a few hiccups in communications due to the tipper having ADHD, but he said Nam Joo Hyuk made him buy the snacks, cut lines, and cussed him out. Then another so-called victim came out, when I saw Nam Joo Hyuk in movies, I was in pain because of the wounds of the past. When I was attending high school, Nam Joo Hyuk used to bully me with a group. I briefly forgot about the pains of the past, but then that wound opened up again when I saw Nam Joo Hyuk in a movie. Nam Joo Hyuk always made me turn on my smartphone hotspot on purpose and took my smartphone without my permission to use it. When he got caught using the phone, he would hand in my phone instead of his. He used my phone more than I did during school. Nam Joo Hyuk took my phone and would use a few 10,000 Korean wands to buy game items. When I asked him to pay me back for the money he used on my phone because my parents paid the bill, he just said, why do I need to? So, I never got that money back. When I refused to do something Nam Joo Hyuk asked or his group of friends asked, they would make me do sparring. They would make a ring in the middle of the classroom and make me fight another classmate. While I was being bullied in school, I persevered, thinking that I would pay them back by getting a good job and living a good life. I even formed a social anxiety disorder due to the bullying I suffered from Nam Joo Hyuk. The alleged victim gave their reason for deciding to come out and share their story. I saw the news reports that Nam Joo Hyuk denied the bullying allegations, and he sued my friend, first alleged victim A. It really is painful to think about my past, and I am currently living my life perfectly well, but I decided to step up after seeing my friend being sued. I want him to admit his wrongdoings in the past and stop his activities. It's really painful every time I see him. The initial victim's mother also talked to the media. There were large parts of news reports that were wrongly reported. His agency did not check the facts and is inflicting secondary harm. My son has been suffering all his life due to the trauma from the school bullying, but the bullies are negligent of that pain to this day. Many netizens actually believe the victims due to these reasons. Wow, this is so crazy. The claims of this new victim are so detailed. If this is true, he's so brazen. The claims sound so realistic. 
I'm more shocked that the victim's mom also stepped up. This would be so shocking if this is really true, and it's so realistic how Nam Joo Hyuk would steal the smartphone data. Then Nam Joo Hyuk's agency again denied the second accusation. The second allegation against Nam Joo Hyuk on school violence that was raised the previous day is groundless. In regards to the details of the allegation, the agency stated, we have nothing to say about that. As of now, we maintain the position that it is groundless. That is all. However, one of his former classmates came out to defend Nam Joo Hyuk. Hello, first off, I am a high school classmate who was in the same class as Nam Joo Hyuk, to exactly put it, I was in the same class as Nam Joo Hyuk in the second year of high school. I wasn't particularly close friends with Nam Joo Hyuk, so my views are from the perspective of just being a classmate. I thought that writing this kind of thing might not be in my place since I wasn't a close friend of Nam Joo Hyuk, but I was just proud to be in the same class with a celebrity. Also, I felt frustrated and felt it was unfair how that person made a malicious report, mixing some truth with lies. So after much contemplation, I decided to write this. I know, and I believe everyone knows, that cussing, hitting, and even telling someone to be a shuttle for snacks are considered school violence and bullying. When I was in the same class with Nam Joo Hyuk, I never saw him tell someone to be a shuttle for snacks, nor did I even hear him curse or hit another classmate. Of course, I can't know everything but I'm sure I would have known there was bullying within our class and there is no way I would not have known. In my point of view, I know the things stated above are lies but the smartphone payment and sparring did happen in our class. First, the smartphone payment incident happened when one student took our homeroom teacher's phone to make a payment. This incident was not started or led by Nam Joo Hyuk. It was the wrongdoing of another classmate. I still remember that incident because that classmate really did do wrong. I believe everyone knows about the WWE professional wrestling show. We were lively and energetic kids and sometimes we played in the back of the classroom during break time or lunch time. Of course, it wasn't professional wrestling we did but we played mimicking that. If Nam Joo Hyuk really created a ring and did some serious sparring, then I have no memory of that and it makes no sense because no one would lead that kind of thing and we all hung out and bumped each other to play around. After reading the reports, I felt that the facts above were maliciously changed and reported. I can't say things didn't happen because the phone incident and the sparring did happen. However, I can't just let this pass since I know the truth. If I do, then I'll just be the same as someone who turned a blind eye. Once again, I want to say that the reports were made with malicious intent, cleverly mixing the truth with lies. I want to talk about the other incidents but they are events I don't know exactly so I thought it's only correct for me to write about what I saw of Nam Joo Hyuk. Thank you for reading this long writing. Then a photo alleged to be of Nam Joo Hyuk underage drinking went viral. Many Korean netizens claimed it was proof of his problematic behavior in the past. It literally says Joo Hyuk shot. If you grew up around that era and you had Psyworld, you know exactly what kind of kids show off their underage drinking party photos. One thing after another keeps coming up. Judging by that photo, it doesn't really look like he was a quiet, reserved student who was only interested in basketball like his agency said. If the agency doesn't address this properly, then a lot of people who have stayed neutral will start to side with the victims. It's not exactly uncommon for students to try drinking once or twice before they graduate high school. But the ones who actually post the pictures online and show them off, they're usually Ilgen or ones who get around. However, not everyone agrees with Korean netizens. Wait a sec, I thought this was about him being a bully in high school. How does this super pixelated picture prove that he truly did all these things his alleged classmates claimed he did? I really don't see the logic in this. Besides, I knew plenty of guys who brought alcohol even to school. One of them actually got drunk before an exam, and I went to a private school. It's way worse in public schools in my country. My point is, why does every bullying case get linked back to the alleged bully drinking and smoking while underage? How is this proof that they were bullies? Also, if this is enough to ruin his career, Nets might have bigger problems than I thought. I'm not saying it's right, but teenagers do stupid things all the time. They're experimenting and are in a time in their lives when that's the norm. It doesn't mean they were bullies. On July 5th, 
media outlet Dispatch revealed they interviewed 20 people from Nam Juhyuk's high school, 18 former classmates and two teachers who knew Nam Juhyuk during his high school days. These individuals explained that the two initial accusers' claims are false and provided their own accounts of Nam Juhyuk when he was in school. There were cliques back then, just as there are cliques now. The studious ones hung out with one another, and we hung out with the group of friends we clicked well with. I was like that, and Nam Joo Hyuk was like that too. The punishment in our school back then was really severe. It was really strict. There was no culture of a group of bullies hanging out. If one student was picked on like that, the teachers would have taken issue with it and made a fuss. Maybe they felt threatened by a group of kids that did hang out together, but Nam Joo Hyuk was not part of it. Nam Joo Hyuk is not someone who would pick on someone. He liked sports, and Nam Joo Hyuk would even laugh off jokes people made about him. That's how good his personality is. Everyone liked him. Lee also added, he also said nonsense that he would one day become a model. All of his friends laughed at him. But he really went to a modeling school after class, he liked basketball, and he slept a lot. The teachers trusted him because he had a sense of justice. Nam Joo Hyuk's homeroom teacher, Park Tae Gyu, explained, Nam Joo Hyuk was a student who would tell everyone, guys, let's be quiet, if his classmates were being noisy. If someone was fighting, he would mediate the two and say, let's not fight, guys. I don't know what misunderstanding the accuser had, but Nam Joo Hyuk is not a kid who was a bully. Basically, all the people that Dispatch interviewed denied the claims that the accusers have made. However, a third victim came out and said this, one of Nam Joo Hyuk's group members didn't like me, so just for that reason, he invited me to a group chat room where they took turns cursing at me. YouTuber Lee Jean Ho looked into the chats that were exposed. On May 10, 2012, 12 Seoul High School students, including Nam Joo Hyuk, were invited to a Kakao group chat with the victim. A son had forcefully invited victim A. Son is one of the 18 classmates interviewed by dispatch recently. After the victim was invited, the other male students took turns cursing at the victim. Looking at the content, there were various slanders such as you smell like selfish yuri ugly, and more. However, just 10 minutes after the chat was created, Nam Joo Hyuk was seen saying, there's mad could talk, messages, and then he said, what's with the fuss in a chat full of guys, and leave you shits, although his language was rough, he was not the one who led the bullying. In fact, Nam Joo Hyuk was seen stopping the bullying. According to Lee Jean Ho, Nam Joo Hyuk shut down the chat room. The agency responded to the rumors by saying that texts are out of context and they will sue all anonymous accusers. However, later on, it was revealed that the chat was reconstructions of the texts, not actual screenshots of what actually happened. Reconstructions can be manipulated before being uploaded online. The reporter describes, according to the actual chatroom data, how Nam Joo Hyuk's friends used derogatory language against the accuser, even directly quoting what they said. However, the reporter didn't directly quote Nam Joo Hyuk at all. The reporter in question was the same reporter who reported the second accuser's allegations. Yeah, very suspicious. The reporter briefly mentioned that Nam Joo Hyuk wasn't leading the bullying but was helping the conversation by gossiping about the third accuser. No direct quotes are present, despite the article claiming they have access to the chat room's data. Since the first news that Nam Joo Hyuk was violent towards his classmates, so far, there has been no substantial evidence. In the case of Kakao Talk, the reporter has never released the original chat records, which makes people wonder whether these evidences do not exist at all or because the original chat records show that Nam Joo Hyuk has no problems, so the reporter has always refused to release the original records. Then Nam Joo Hyuk enlisted into the military, his service will end this year in September. But while still being in there, he met up with an accuser. Actor Nam Joo Hyuk had met with a schoolmate who accused him of school violence. The actor reportedly met with the alumni several times in person to discuss the allegation, but they were unable to come to an agreement due to their differing recollections. They tried hard to have a conversation, but their memories were completely different, so the conversation couldn't continue smoothly. Then accuser released a video as a proof that sparring did happen and Nam Joo Hyuk was involved, however, the video was very dark and you couldn't see if Nam Joo Hyuk was actually there. Then on October 17, 2023, a drama called Vigilante came out which made his fans very happy as it's a step for his comeback to the entertainment. As his return from a military is getting closer, his problems with accusers doesn't end. 
The good news came out on February 8, 2024. The prosecution has determined that the allegations of school bullying were false, and as a result, both individuals have been found guilty of defamation. The prosecution has deemed both cases as summary offenses and has requested that the court impose a fine instead of moving forward with a trial. If neither party involved in the cases nor the court expresses the intention to proceed with a trial, the prosecution's judgment will become final. Goyang District Court said. Nam Joo Hyuk has not bullied the accuser in the six years they went to school together. Also, Nam Joo Hyuk did not hang out with other bullies. Therefore, A and B are equally at fault for defaming Nam Joo Hyuk's character with lies. However, accusers didn't want to settle on this. According to the report, the accuser's lawyer formally submitted a request for trial on April 8. Accuser's lawyer said, We object to the part of the judgment stating Nam Joo Hyuk had never bothered his friends. We will work towards finding the truth in court. Such a weird word to choose, bothered. You can be bothered even by someone breathing. That's it, we're going to see what's going to happen. But what are your thoughts? Thank you for watching, and see you next time.